since the thing I like doing most in League of Legends is playing off meta picks and trying to find out stupid things to try and win, I thought I might do a tier list video to show you guys some of my favorite picks and some of my less favorite picks and some of the ones that I absolutely despise. So without further ado, let's go. In the number one spot, as soon as I find where he is, I will cut this out, no worries. But, uh, God, my eyes are so bad at this and it's so late. We're gonna go with Rek'Sai. If you guys are interested in videos of this pick, I can provide that because I absolutely love playing it. And then on the second pick, I already saw my boy. My boy was somewhere in this region. Um... Where is my boy? My boy, come on. They really should make like a search bar for this shit. Because this is actually AIDS. Oh, you guys can be happy that I'm gonna cut out like me just spending time searching for the fucking champion. Because this is ridiculous. So on the second pick, it's Nautilus. I love Nautilus mid for a number of reasons. I've already made a YouTube short on my channel. If you haven't seen that one yet, check it out. It's a unique strategy. It's <laughs> the whole strategy revolves around shoving the wave, roaming, and helping your team out before they can in. Because your teammates can't in if you're in their lane 24-7, ganking them more than your jungler does. For the same exact reason, Rek'Sai is up there as well. Rek'Sai and Nautilus are really good in the mid lane if you can play it. Rek'Sai is particularly interesting because how creative you can be with the tunnels. Now, for insanely fun, we also have, of course, my boy, the champion with the R button. It's Malphite. It's the rock. It's the big boom. It's the kaboom. It's the I love, I love Malphite. AP Malphite, AP Malphite tank, AD Malphite, tank Malphite, but grass, anything Malphite is just fun, man. And it's surprisingly good, especially this season with um, Malignance, I believe the item is called, the one that gives your ultimate essentially no cooldown and a nice bit of damage on top of it. Now, for insanely fun picks, we are almost actually out. Keep in mind, we're only doing off-meta things. We're not putting meta things in here, all right? We got that sorted. Let's go. So for off-meta, I suppose what I could also do, it's not really meta, but it is really fun. It's Caitlyn mid is really fun. If you do it lethality, if you play it crit, if you play it attack speed just in regular ADC, you just have to be careful with your matchups and that you're not against a too sweaty player who's just going to flash on top of you and wish you never really installed the game. I only have four champions I really like playing off meta in the mid lane. These are really fun. These are my favorite and it's about it. Yes, there's also Ash. I, I guess we put Ash up there. Yeah, sure. Actually, that's not insanely fun though. It's fun to play. Ash is fun to play, but not insanely fun. It's I'm not going to be like laughing and saying stuff like, oh god, I love this champion. For fun to play, we don't really have that many off meta picks in the mid lane. Um, off meta. I like Pantheon, but Pantheon, you can't really consider him off meta. I like Rex, uh, Rexai. I already got Rexai. Renekton mid. I like Teemo mid. And surprisingly, Hail mid. Now, these picks, Re Renekton is just really fun to play. A lot of dashes can break shields, so all of the champions, or almost all of the champions that I think should be deleted from the game, Lux, Yasuo, Yone, can just be denied. And plus, Yasuo and Yone against Renekton, they won't have a good time, because all I need to do is just have Max Fury, and then they walk up to me, I auto, W, Q and E away. It's a free trade, and I could do that several times. They're low, and now I can ignite and I'll end them. Nine out of ten times, they don't really see it coming. It shifts into the late game, kind of like a normal Renekton on the top lane. You're just going to be looking to peel for your team and pick people off. You can do it both. Most of the time, I spent my time just looking for picks and then split fishing and basically drawing aggro. The same things go for Teemo on the kill. The only thing that changes is the way you would approach the lane. Because obviously, Teemo is an early <laughs> lane bully. Kale is not. Teemo scales decently well into the late game. Kale is a monster in the late game, but Kale is a puppy in the early game. So you really have to know and be careful that you don't die too often. Now, for the fun to play, we have Jin. I've recently been playing a lot of Jin mid on uh, another one of my accounts, and it's because I got the Soul Fighter Jin skin out of a chest. He's actually been great. I've been really enjoying playing him. He's a very unique champion. I like his just crazy burst if you play it correctly. And it's 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 a it's a unique champion. I like it. I can't talk about off meta mid without talking about Shaco. Inspired by the Shaco god himself, Pink Ward. Kind of a twist 
to it because I think I believe he maxes W, I max E. He runs Airy, I believe. I run Comet with Scorch, and I'm basically poking them more than really baiting them into the W. I'm more or less putting the uh, the boxes down in a way that the enemies can't gank me. Yeah, that's that's for the fun to play. Now from here on out, it's gonna go downhill. Believe it or not, on the decent but could be better we have jana mid i could already kind of predict the comments as soon as i did this jana mid is actually doable you can win with it i've done it you can win games with it because you're not going support you're going ap jana with i believe the item is still in the game there's an item that gives you it synergizes really well with uh jana's w because jana's w the more movement speed you have the more damage it does your q is almost never really going to be fully charged you're just going to use it to disengage and you're basically just a pest you're hoping that the enemies engage on you and that you can disengage and then just poke them down and make them hate themselves next we've got my boy Shogath. The reason why it's decent but could be better is because it doesn't work in every game. You kind of have to be lucky that your team is decent enough that they can carry you or you can allow them to carry by peeling for them. It's not solo carry. It's like all of these picks that I've shown you here, especially these four, you can solo carry games with these if you're good enough at the strategy. So the, the more down we go, the harder it becomes to actually play and win the game. Strategy for Cho'Gath, kind of, it, you're just normal Cho'Gath in the top lane. You're poking them early, you're farming, making sure you get your last hits. If you think you can get a kill, keep your ultimate, pretty execute nom nom. If you don't think you can get a kill, just eat a minion. Do that six times, so you get your maximum uh, minion stacks on your ultimate, and then just look for picks. Your build would go semi-AP, so Rod of the Ages with probably Shadow Flame, Landry's into tank. And that's about it. You're just going to be looking to pick people all game and just make them hate themselves and scale into the late game monster Cho'Gath is. Just numbing up the place. Next, on the decent but could be better, is a pick that I am not too sure of. Gonna be completely honest. You're gonna like look at me and be like, dude, are you on drugs? To which I would respond, maybe. It's Cassidy. Now hear me out. I know Cassidy is a mid laner if you build him the traditional way. I'm talking about AD Cassidy with Nasher's Tooth. So on hit Cassidy, but mainly AD. It's a pick that can sometimes work. It sounds a lot more troll than in reality it is because you have a free flash that you can use twice, if not more if you buy Man Immune. So you still have a lot of mobility. People, when they see Cassidy, they think, oh, he's going to teleport on me and just burst me the shit out. Well, yeah, but normally Cassidy would have to go in and go out for a bit. But this build, you kind of just go in, you smack the shit out of them, and then you go back in. You almost never really have to leave. If you play your cards right and your matchup is okay, because it is very matchup dependent, because you are a cannon minion early game. The level 16 thing still stands, all right? So, next we have... Do I even need to say anything? You've seen the videos, probably. If you're about as old as me, 23, 24, you've seen the videos. You've seen mid cranks. You've seen the crazy pulls, the crazy plays they make. It's fun, yeah, but it could definitely be better. What could be better about this, in my opinion, keep in mind, before I say this, I don't really play this that often. It's like once in a blue moon when I'm just in the mood for something stupid. I've almost always been against an immobile mage, so I don't think... I don't feel qualified to be able to talk about this. Go early, a lot of AP. Make sure to get a Lich Bane. So you can ult the backline wave gone, so they don't expect the hook. And you hook, you land it, you auto. So it's hook, auto, E, and then just W and keep autoing with the attack speed. If you did this correctly, by the time they run away, you should have your hook up again. And you just hook them back up and repeat this. It's fun. It's fun to play. If you guys would like to see it, I can I can make a video of it. It's I, I love doing it. But that won't be in ranked. Now, I'm talking about AP Recon specifically. I'm not talking about Support Recon, and I'm not talking about Koenig and something that tank item that gives you a bigger shield Recon. I'm talking about AP Recon. The reason why it could be better, but it's decent, is because it has good damage, good wave clear. Only problem is, you don't really have an, an escape. The moment you go in is the moment you have to go in. Unless it's team fights in lane by your own sum, by your own sum, you go in and you really have to know for sure that you're not going to get punished because there's no eing back. You don't have a teammate to e back to. Bonus points if you're 
ADC is fun enough to pick Zaya. Increases your win rate by a whole lot just by having a Zaya in your team. That's all I really have to say about that pick. It's very situational, but it could work. It's decent, but could be better. On the decent, <laughs> but could be better, we have... Of course, born mid. I can kind of predict what you guys are going to say in the comments. And correct me if I'm wrong. Born mid is good. It is. I'm not going to deny it. But it's not fun to play and it's definitely not insanely fun. In terms of strength and also fun. Born on top is fun because you kind of can just ignore your opponent and just scale for free. In mid lane, you don't really have that pleasure because 9 out of 10 times you're going to be against the range champion. It's not going to allow you to farm. And if they're good, they're also going to freeze so they can deny you CS and experience, make you vulnerable to die to ganks. And since you don't have that much mobility and without your E, which is on a decently high cooldown, you don't really have an escape. It's kind of eh. So I don't know. Maybe someone else could make it work. Not for me, though. <coughs> <coughs> Moving on to the decent, but could be better. We, of course, have Seju. The same thing applies as the thing I said earlier about Blitzcrank. It's fun, do a lot of damage. I'm talking about AP tank, Seju. You can peel your team, but it's way too hard to actually properly solo carry with Seju mid. Your cooldowns are too high. Your mobility is too slow. Too high cooldown on your Q and your mobility which is your Q. Your ultimate is kind of weird to use properly and could cause a lot more harm than good. It's just not for me, man. It's fun to play occasionally, but I barely touch that in ranked. It's just nah. Unless I'm just in a fuck you mood and I am just want to troll around. I won't be touching that. So we're moving on to the kind of trash, but not fun at all. Not the hell no yet. So it, there's still some fun. They're, it's they're kind of trash. Not too bad. It's not the hell no. So on the kind of trash, not fun. First one, this kind of hurts me a little bit, but it's AD Fizz. Now, the reason why it's kind of trash, not fun, is because it's too weak. You're going to do damage and you can, you can solo carry against bad enemies. But the moment they're good and they understand you're going AD, they see it from your runes, the fact that you have Conqueror, they're going to punish you. They're going to eat you up and they're gonna punish the fact that you won't have your E up. Do this only if you're brave, or just stick to AP Fizz. But if you want to play an off-meta pick, then AD Fizz could be funny. But don't do it in a ranked. Unless you're a madman, and you're somehow fucking Hyla with this shit. If you are, props to you. If I had a hat on, hats off to you. Warwick mid. Same thing applies to the Blitzcrank. It's extremely situational. And if your opponent is good, decent enough at spacing, you won't be able to trade with them. You won't realistically be able to even have an all-in opportunity. And if you're low, well, he can outroam you. All he needs the enemy bot lane low. So you proc your passive and now you can roam. Other than that, not worth it, man. It, it's just not. And on the same goes for Gnar. It's kind of trash, not fun. Same thing applies. Extremely situational, only difference is this person is ranged and melee and tanky. Only difference applies is that it's really annoying if your enemy is decent. Not even good, just decent. It's horrible. Don't do it. That's all of them for the kind of trash, not fun. Sadly, this one is going to go extremely full. So, hope you're ready. Greg is mid. Now, I know you guys are going to say, but Greg is mid is really strong right now. That's exactly the point. The whole point of me playing these off meta picks, if you're seeing a theme, I actually have to do work in order to win with this strategy or these strategies. Gragas is a cheat code. Right now, if you play Gragas mid and you stay safe, you build Rod of the Ages, you go into Lich Bane, 9 out of 10 times you're just gonna win your games because he's too broken. I don't know what else to say. Fight me in the comments. He's broken and really should be nerfed or even reworked. End of discussion. Moving on. So, to the hell no. Would surprise you. Or maybe not. But it's Garen mid. Garen, same thing. Too broken, too easy to win with. It's not fun. I don't like playing the thing I coin as noob champs. So what I call a noob champ is a champion that is too broken and unfair to win with in comparison to how hard they are to play. So think of Akali. But Akali is meta, so I'm not going to put that there. Think of Akali. Too broken, too easy to win with. So <clears throat> on the same thing, we're going to go with Darius. Just go ghost, build a fidge, and run everybody down. 
this shit will get you to diamond alone. And the moment you hit level 6, guess what? You're one of the most broken teamfight champions in the fucking game. Go get your LP, chief. Not for me, though. For the hell no, we have a Jarvan. These ones are just gonna be really fast because I don't really have to say anything. Boring as fuck to play. Really strong. Just not for me, man. Unless I'm playing to, like, play a broken pick. Which defeats the whole purpose why I like challenging myself with off meta picks. Just not worth it, mate. Just not worth it. The same thing goes for Olaf, mid, just too broken, not fun. Tom Kench, same thing goes for that. Thresh mid is decent, actually. Decent, but could be better. Um, Briar mid, uh, it's... Mm. 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 I'll put it in fun to play. It's not an insanely fun, but I'll put it in fun to play. The Sin will go to the kind of trash, not fun. Leona will go to the hell no. Same goes for Nasus. Same goes for, no, Galio. Galio will go up to decent, but could be better. By the way, the thing that I coin off meta, I know some people are like, in order for something to be off meta, it, need to, it needed to be in the meta first. The thing I coin off meta is if it's not supposed to be played that way. So AD Fizz. And yes, I am still a bit sick. So for the hell no, we're going to go just speed run. Remus, Ivern, AX. Kasante, Aatrox, Wen, uh, Heimerdinger, Rengar, Yorick, Maokai. Actually, Maokai goes up to the kind of trash, not fun. Uh, Fiddlesticks goes to the fun, uh, decent, but could be better. Singed, hell no. Bard, honestly, fun to play. Gangplank mid is not considered of meta. Not gonna do that. Poppy, honestly, fun to play. Especially Lethality Poppy, the damage is crazy. Trinomir mid, eh, kind of trash, not fun. I don't like how his play goes, like the playstyle. Morgana mid is really fun to play. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Same goes for Soraka. Tristana. My brain is trying to work right now. Mumu will go to fun to play. Pirko goes to the hell no, too broken, not fun, basically a cheat code. Shivana mid is interesting, I've done it before, but decent could be better. That's actually all of them. I just realized, yeah, I just kind of just zoomed through them. Whoops. <laughs> so let me go over them again. Everything in the hell no section, I deem broken or just uninteresting to play. Whether it be because they're too strong, whether it be because they're too broken, or whether it be because they're just unskilled. In my opinion, this is very important before I get some fucking crybabies in my comments. They're not fun for me. If you play them, hey, more power to you. I respect you, just from a distance. Now, the kind of trash not fun is they're still okay, but 9 out of 10 times you're asking to lose your game if you pick these strategies. The decent could be better is for the more creative people out of the off-meta players. Yeah. They're picks that are good, objectively, if you can play them, if you're good at the strategy, you could make it work, but it is still only decent and can be better. The fun, for, fun to play stands for itself, they're just really fun to play, whether it be because you are allowed to bully your lane opponent, whether it be because you're able to scale late game and just be a fucking great boss, or just have a good time out playing people left and right. They're fun picks. The insanely fun goes to my babies. So that's the three top. The Rek'Sai, the Nautilus, and the Malphite. I can speak today. Malphite mid. I am really tired. It's 2304, so bear with me. And the Caitlyn, honestly. And the rest after that is picks that I've played when either Rek'Sai, Nautilus, or Malphite were banned. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have a series on my YouTube channel where I'm essentially trying to get as far as I can in the rank ladder with only Nautilus and Rek'Sai and Malphite, respectively. I'll try to pick Nautilus as many times as I can, but if he's banned or picked, I won't dodge. I hate dodging. I'll pick Rek'Sai or Malphite, respectively. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Press that little button to show the algorithm and show the audience that you enjoyed this video. And click on the screen right about, I believe, if I'm smart enough, I'm going to put it over. I am covering my finger with my mic. 
right about here, I think, or here, <coughs> to watch the playlist. And I will see you guys in my next video. Cheers. Take care.